Hey guys, back again. This time I'm going to talk about another indie movie that came out in the past couple months, but I didn't get to see it until now, called Good Time. Now, this is one of those movies where I think as a film, it's really good. It's a really good film. It's a really well-made film. Um, the two brothers who directed this, and one of them acts in the movie, um, they did a great job with this movie. I think they wrote it too. I may be wrong, but I feel like they wrote the script as well. And I think that this is a very, very good directorial debut, and I think it's said in the movie that they are introduced, that they introduce themselves into the film, so it's probably the first acting and directing gig. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. But, I gotta say, it's one of those movies where it is a great film, but it's not one that I loved. Um, if you get what I'm saying, like, there's a lot of movies where you can you can appreciate it for how good it is in terms of filmmaking but as like as a movie like i never felt invested or connected but to be fair these characters are really not characters to connect with um or to invest in i think that these characters are both like even the mentally handicapped brother like they both are criminals and even the brother who is mentally handicapped does, I think, understand what he is doing. But his brother Connie just makes him do do this stuff. But he, I think he still gets in his brain what is going on. Like, they're robbing a bank. They're doing bad things. But for me, the characters never grip me. And I, and I feel like that's a thing that I... Sh that's kind of redundant to say because the movie is not trying to be that. It's not trying to be a character piece where you care much about them. It's about just seeing them go down and down this spiral path where it just keeps getting more and more crazy as the movie goes along. And I think that in terms of the acting, the acting is great. I think that Robert Pattinson, who plays Connie, is really good. And Robert Pattinson is one of those actors where... Um, bring up Kristen Stewart, for instance, uh, for for some reason, since they were both in, like, Twilight, like, that, like, uh, Robert Pattinson and, like, someone like Kristen Stewart are actors that are in franchises and break out, but are seen only as these franchise actors, and they're not, and they're, and they were in something that was not considered good by most majority of the people of Twilight, um, but I really liked how Robert Pattinson has broken out of that mold, like, he is embedded in pop culture as that character in Twilight, but I think that as an actor, like, we really didn't see much greatness in him until after he finished that franchise, um, but, man, I think he's really good in this, and he was really great in The Lost City of Z, which was a movie that came out this last year, too. Um, he was very good in that as well. Almost unrecognizable, the way he looks in that movie, too. But but I really thought in this, his performance is really good. And the brother who plays Nick, one of the brothers who directed it, is really good. Um, they both... Like, the acting is really great, and I think that it really really just is interesting to see but it's just again it's one of those movies where it's hard to explain because I I love elements of it like the acting the directing everything is good about it as a movie but um, I'm not as much of a fan of these movies where somebody goes down a spiral path and never gets out of it if you don't care about them but there are instances where I have felt that way but usually it's um, the former. I usually don't care about these movies as much. These sleazy um, movies where it's just horrible people doing horrible things and it keeps escalating to where it ends in a way that you'd expect. Like, these characters are gonna get their comeuppance probably sometime at, by the end of the movie. Like, it feels like you're gonna, you're gonna see that. And I think that, like I said, as a film, it's great, but it's just not one that personally I was invested in or cared for 
again, it's, it's hard to say that because it doesn't, I feel like people are not going to understand what I'm saying, but I think it just is a well-made movie, but just not for me, I guess. Um, I really didn't, like I said, I just didn't care about the characters, but again, I think I'm being redundant because it just, it does not, like these characters are not likable, but to me it's just, it's not something that gripped me. Um, even characters aside, the movie did not grip me much. It just felt like, to me, it felt like these, this plot of characters going down this horrible path, it felt like it didn't do anything for me personally, but it's not a bad movie at all. It's just one that I did not care for. Um, but I think as a, if you're a fan of film, this is one to check out. But it's just not one that I personally cared for, if that makes any sense. I think, I think I'm tr getting my point across, but I just, by the, at the end of the day, just say, I'm just saying that it's a great movie, but I didn't care, if that makes any sense. But, uh, it's just going to be a short review, because this is one that, like I said, it's hard to explain, but I pretty much, I think, summed it up. I just thought it was a great movie, but it wasn't for me.